Hey, what's up? My name is Luca. Welcome. Hi. Okay, let's just dive right in, no distractions. I think it was about when I was 14 and we had to do an internship for school. And we had this teacher and he was just so wrong in so many other ways as well. But one thing he said was like, <clears throat> you know, if you don't know yet what you're gonna do after school, like if you have no idea what career you want to have, I think it's, you should, it's, it's already almost too late. You should, you should know right now. I'm sorry for this really bad paraphrase. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I was a 14 year old kid and I, I was so terrified by that. I was literally so insecure. I had no idea what I wanted to do with my life. I barely knew what I wanted to do after school, like as in after lunch. And just people like that, even though most people aren't that like harsh about it, it used to freak me out so much because I thought there was literally something wrong with me because I didn't, I, I didn't have a clue what I was doing. <laughs> Little did I know that pretty much nobody knows what they're doing. That was definitely something that I really struggled with when I was younger. For some reason I had this idea that everybody but me knew exactly what they were doing. Like every other kid knew that they wanted to be a doctor or a lawyer or a firefighter or whatever since they were like five years old and I was the only one who didn't have any idea whatsoever. Obviously that wasn't true, but that was just something that I felt really anxious about. And I think nowadays I'm mostly over it, but still there are some occurrences where you know that anxious feeling comes back to me. So I study linguistics, I'm almost finished with my masters, literally one semester left. The first question that people usually ask me is what the hell is linguistics? And it's, it's I can't even explain it myself, it's, it's the science of language. Google it, there's the Wikipedia. There are so many subdisciplines of linguistics, so it's, it's hard to find a general definition of it. But I can tell you what it's not, and it's not learning as many languages as possible. You analyze language and help people use language and process language you don't you can't speak many languages <laughs> anyway so once that disastrous moment is over and I have confused people more that I have clarified anything the second question usually is like what job are you gonna do with that is anyone even gonna hire you this, this sounds very random and I also do not really have an answer to that question I'm I'm sorry, I feel like everybody's always so disappointed because all they wanted to do is make some casual small talk, but th th this question, you know, it doesn't make me like crazy anxious anymore, but it does make me uncomfortable. I don't know what specific kind of job I'm gonna have. There is so many options. I think everybody who is kind of studying in the humanities is gonna understand me because my degree doesn't lead to a specific job. It's not like I study medicine and I'm gonna be a doctor or I'm gonna study law and I'm gonna be a lawyer or a judge or... I feel like there are also multiple possibilities, but you know what I mean. So yes, obviously I thought about possible jobs I could do, but I feel like this would always take way too long to explain and go way beyond small talk. So I'm always like, yeah, I don't know, we'll see. And I feel like that sometimes comes across as I have no idea what I'm doing, I'm kind of just wasting away my life. And then I feel like sometimes people get concerned that I am i don't have any good job possibilities. It usually comes from a good place, they just want to help and pass on their life advice to me. Ah, uh, it's, it's, I, I don't, th why? Just please stop asking me what I'm doing with my life. It is literally none of your concern and I know perfectly well, maybe not exactly what I'm doing, but that whatever I'm doing, it's gonna be okay and it, it matters most that I'm enjoying myself and my life and what I'm doing. Societal pressure is just like, it, it, no matter how much you think you're over it, it, it always comes back to you somehow. I don't know, this question of what I'm doing with my life always keeps popping up. Like when I was about to finish high school, it like people, it was the only thing that people would ask me. And then the same thing happened again when I was finishing my bachelor's and you know, just when you meet new people, it, it always, it keeps popping up. And why is it that people, when they ask you what you're doing with your life or what you're doing, after blah 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 they always mean what job are you gonna be doing like your job is the most defining characteristic of yourself like that's bullshit society has changed so much since our parents generation and it keeps changing and new jobs like that we wouldn't even have thought of 10 years ago keep popping up it's just not the case anymore that you go to school and then you go to university you study one thing and then you're gonna work in that job for the rest of your life until you retire it's not like that anymore and I don't want it to be like that I 
I get bored so easily when I don't feel like I'm growing in my job anymore. I don't really want to do it anymore. So I feel like it's perfectly okay to do one thing for a couple of years or even a month and then move on to the next thing. It doesn't matter. It's your life. You should enjoy it. <laughs> this wasn't supposed to turn into a motivational speech, but here you go. I don't know. I have received a lot of concerns when I presented people with my attitude, but I have also had some really positive reactions. And I've actually gotten some really good advice from some people, which I really appreciate. I think I was a teacher from my first uni who said that it, it basically doesn't matter what you study, it, it just matters that you studied something. Because often having a degree is just a requirement for certain types of jobs, but in the end it doesn't really matter what kind of degree you have, just that you have one. First of all, I think it's just a formality to have a degree, but um, aside from that, it also shows that you know, you're dedicated, you can work towards long-time goals, you, you have like these all these study skills and soft skills. So yeah, when he said that, that, that just gave me a lot of peace of mind. Then another really smart guy, I don't know who that was, but he basically said that a lot of companies are also interested to have people from all different kinds of fields come in and work at that company. It's not like you necessarily have to study business studies or economy or something like that to um, work in the field of business because that's literally what most people study but it, it gives you like a unique edge if you studied something completely random. I honestly think linguistics is a very good field to be knowledgeable in because everybody uses language like think about marketing, advertising, like all that kind of stuff, like language, so important. I don't know what that was, I just felt the need to defend my my choice of studying <laughs> linguistics. And yeah, the last thing is just something I've picked up by getting older and, you know, talking, talking to people, meeting people. Basically, nobody knows exactly what they're doing. Everybody's questioning, everybody's worried, like, it's so normal. And everybody's just concerned about the fact that it seems like everybody else has got their shit together, but they don't. But obviously, most people are just pretending and they just want to seem like they have it all figured out. You just gotta be okay with not having everything figured out. And I, I know it's hard, but um, baby steps, right? In conclusion, <laughs> Don't give a fuck about other people, follow your heart, and please, nobody ask me what I'm doing with my life, or I'll, I'll punch you. No, I wouldn't dare, <laughs> for sure. I'm sorry for my hair, um, you know, I can't go to the hair people for, for obvious reasons. Have a nice day, and see you next week. Bye! I've been waiting so long for the storm to ride I know that is in you, I know that is in you Dancing away with the world in your eyes Oh, goodbye Virginia, goodbye Virginia